The Sanford Primary School, in collaboration with the Sanford Farmers Association, held a Farmers Market Day earlier today. Details from Michael Kahn. The Sanford Primary School, in collaboration with the Farmers Association and support from Food for the Poor, Guyana Inc., held the Farmers Market Day 2023 on the recreational lawns of the compound. The event attracted farmers, villagers, and even buyers from outside of the community. Channel 8 News spoke with some of the sellers. The farmers and food farmers is going to have their market day soon come too. But this is a school annual one for the year, so we support the school. And what are some of the, the, the prices of the products that you have here today? So the price of the product would be not like the original market price. So the price would be balanced. So if you could go out um, and get a pong of banana for 300, you would get a pong of banana for like uh, 150 here. Watermelon, you would get it for like 200, 260. I am showcasing green seasoning, pepper sauce, preserved fruits, metai. And I have some pigeon peas here. Okay, and what are your prices like? Um, the seasoning is thousand. The pepper is eight hundred. Sorry, the pepper is five hundred. The um, fruits is a thousand. The peas seven hundred, and metai goes for a hundred. And how do you feel about participating in this activity here today? Really, it's an exciting event. Um, I took some time before I plan really taking part inside, but it is really interesting. These are all byproducts of the honey. We have face scrub, the Vaseline, and we have here some neem oil. So, that's basically it. Alright, and um, how do you feel participating in this activity here today? Um, great. Um, it's nice to know that you could showcase what the physics is producing because oftentimes people think that Sanford is just a one-way road. It doesn't produce anything. So it is nice to know that you have a little exposure to really showcase what the village have to offer. I am participating on behalf of the Sandwood Farmers Association as well as a parent of the Sandwood Farmers School. Um, I am happy to be here today. I am happy to see the support that we are getting and I look forward to see more people. And how do you feel on a personal level being part of this? I feel good because I have an opportunity to display some of the items and produce that I have from my farm. Well, I'm April Hope and I'm farm of Sanford. Um, as you can see, I'm producing pak choy. And we so um, happy for today, the Farmer's Day. As you can see, we have a nice start out and so forth. How do you feel about this initiative in collaboration with the Food for the Poor? Oh, it's great. It's great. It's a nice process and I wish it could continue and we'd love to see more development as to um, more farmers come out and um, Food for the Poor is doing something very good. Social worker attached to Food for the Poor Guyana Inc., Stacy Paris Jacobs, in her address at a formal opening ceremony had this to say. Environmentally friendly and socially sustainable investment in rural in this rural agriculture community and the association will make a sustainable shift from subsistence agriculture to productive uh, to, to a productive agricultural industry that will allow farmers to actively take part in the market economy finally investing in sanford and the sanford farmers association also means investing in women farmers and youth farmers also. Head teacher of the school, Charmaine Bob, said that she is elated that the administration of the school can show appreciation to the parents of students who are attending the institution. We are here to serve the community of Sanford, so we wanted to create a common marketplace where the farmers of Sanford and other producers that could come and bring their produces to be sold here and to be supported by the community and members of the neighboring communities. So that is how the farmer's market came about. This year when we proposed it to, to the farmers, they opted that it will be 
bigger than it was last year and so we have Food for the Poor on board with us and many other organizations which we are grateful for. In his capacity as an educator, the mayor of New Amsterdam, His Worship Wainwright McIntosh, delivered words of encouragement to the students and the farmers within the community. I wish to commend the administration of Sanford Primary School and members of the farming community for collaborating on this important occasion, all right, the event of Market Day, of Market Day event 2023. Over the world, right across our world today, the emphasis is on food security across the world. The Caribbean region is deemed as the food basket. Mr. McIntosh further added, The community of Sanford over the years would have proven time and time again that agriculture, agriculture plays an important role in our society. Brief remarks were also delivered by Mr. Bhupal Jagru, who is the administrative officer attached to the office of the regional chairman. Our government, the president is very passionate in promoting agriculture. And this area as a very predominant agricultural area, I think is an ideal occasion this morning to hold such a session. And um, I want to congratulate the chairman of the Farmers Association in San Port. I think this area has been producing all types of crops. Wrong provision, I know. I usually do business in this area with a gentleman, uh, I think, I uh, forget his name, uh, Reg Reginald also. And so I know this area is a very, very productive area in the field of agriculture. The event, which will be on the calendar of annual activities at the school, is expected to attract more participants and support agencies apart from Food for the Poor Guyana Inc. and the National Agricultural Research and Extension Institute. They say I have nothing, but they are so wrong. In my heart, I'm rejoicing. How I wish they could see Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me Michael Khan, reporting for Channel 8 News